the blue of the night meets the gold of the day. Welcoming you to Philco Radio Time. Produced and transcribed in New York with John Scott Trotter and his orchestra, Skitch Henderson, and Bing's guest, Fred Allen and Connie Boswell. And now I'd like to present to our large and intelligent radio audience and the Army and Navy veterans gathered here this evening, the old groaner himself, Bing Crosby. Hi, you fellas, and thank you. Thank you. I think we better have Glenn off, and I got a double reception this time. Never happened before. Thanks, though, Glenn. It's nice to have you with us tonight, really. Well, it's nice to be here, Bing. Glenn, you know, with Fred Allen and Connie Boswell on the program, you seem to be loaded here. I have no use for me hanging around. I think I'll just go out in the audience and enjoy myself. Oh, you'd better stay here on the stage, Bing. We may be able to use you. Say, uh, pardon me, fellas. Hey, Bing, uh, whom do I see about getting a script? Well, Fred Allen. Move right in, Fred. Oh, you Fred Allen. That's it. Say, Bing, I, I hate to bother you, but where where's my script? Oh, you don't need a script for this show, Fred. We just sort of kick it around, ad lib around here. Incredible. What do you mean, incredible? Well, you're in radio, Bing. If you keep up this careless, happy-go-lucky uh, attitude, you'll never have an ulcer, the badge of the profession. <laughs> I don't want one. Why, if you don't change your ways, you'll never will be able to enjoy the thrill of crunching tums as you scream at your psychiatrist. <laughs> On the beaten sofa. I can't help it. You stay relaxed like this, Bing, and your blood pressure will never get any higher than your Hooper rating. <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you. I don't know. What, uh, what, uh, what was that? Did Petrillo just pass by? The orchestra, Fred. They're tuning up. Oh, tuning up. Yeah. Now, why didn't they tune up before the program? They just got here. Will somebody get me an Alka-Seltzer? <laughs> Meanwhile, Fred, what about me doing a little tune in here? Well, do something, Bing. I'm a nervous wreck. This is the first time I've ever been off the air for ten minutes. <laughs> the music cue if I've ever heard one, Fred. I'll fly right in. I don't like men, women I don't like to. Do I like anyone? I don't, 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 but I do, do, do like you. I don't like milk, spinach I don't like to. I don't like anything that's good for me, but I do, do, do like you. Am I mad? No, just my attitude has always been very unconventional. Do I care? No, if you think I am strange, it is intentional. I don't like men, women I don't like to. I think that I don't even like myself may be silly, but he's true. Baby, you're the one exception. I do, do, do like you. I do, do, do. I do, do, do. I do, do, do like you. Jolly Bing, very jolly indeed. Now, do you mind, mind, mind if I sell a couple of portables? Not at all, Glenn. Uh-uh, Mr. Crosby. This is the radio that I know. 
You had me fooled there for a minute, you know, pretending to take it easy. <laughs> While all the time you've been secretly flogging your announcer with the commercial. Oh, no. Oh, boy, no, I caught you out of We just slip a commercial in now and then when we have something to say. You mean your commercials on this program aren't a must? The word must is taboo around here. Taboo? The fellow who's on the elephant? No, Astounding. <laughs> Astounding. There are no vice presidents at Philco. Oh, scads of them. But if we mention that there's a Philco portable available, they're very, very happy. Well, what about the advertising agency man? You know that truant officer in the gray flannel suit bearing red carnation? Oh, yes. The guy that, you know, the fella grabs your lapels, insists that you get the, the, the Philco plugs in. Oh, he's, he's down at Toot Shores with the rest of the boys. Oh, really? <laughs> Calls up now and then, sees if the show's on, everything's all right. Well, to think that I should live to see this day. Remarkable? Remarkable. Even the agency man is transcribed. <laughs> Bing on wax. You know, the, <laughs> Bing, this is, the, this is Shangri-La with a microphone. Not only that, Fred, but our commercials come from Philadelphia by carrier pigeon. By a carrier? Mm. Supposing the pigeon gets lost. Well, it happened only last week. We had to run up to Columbus Circle and call over 300 pigeons before they found the one with the Philco message on it. <laughs> Say, did uh, tonight's bird arrive yet, Glenn? Yes, Bing, and there's a note here that mentions the Philco table model with the new automatic record changer. Great set, loaded with power. Or let's see, how about that big Philco radio phonograph like you've got with a new kind of tone arm? I think Philco calls it the dynamic reproducer. Really makes your record sound out of this world. It is. Once the people hear it, they'll dynamic. buy that Philco anyway. So let's brush the whole thing for now, Bing. What do yes, you say? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Fred, stand by. Believe it or not, I'm going to work. My heart is a hobo, loves to roam through fields of clover, hates to have to think things over, and though it's wrong, I string along. My heart is a hobo, Loves to go out berry picking, hates to hear alarm clocks ticking. It isn't smart, but that's my heart. When hopes are out at the elbows, dreams are run down at the heels. My heart refuses to worry, except about rides and reels. My heart is a hobo, loves to quote from Omar Khayyam, hates the stodgy guy that I am, and though it's strange, I just can't change my heart. run down at the heel. My heart refuses to worry, except about rods and reels. My heart is a hobo, loves to quote from Omar Khayyam, hates the stodgy guy that I am. And though it's strange, I just can't change my heart. Your heart is a hobo. Yep. Bing, Bing, let's face it. You are a hobo all over. Oh, yeah. I can't even understand how you finished at the, the same time the orchestra did. Well, it doesn't often happen, Fred. It's about an eight to one shot. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> the winter Hi book there, Bing. <laughs> three to one third. Hi, Bing, well, Bing, hello, how? Miss Constance. Fellas, it's Tommy Boswell. Certainly nice to see you, Connie. Oh, much nicer to see you, Bing. I see me all the time. Having any fun in New York? 
padding here. It's padding, Connie. <laughs> Small angle. Been to New Orleans. Quite a bit of fun around New York, Connie. We, listen, why don't you and I get together some night? Go down to Nino and Nella's and spear a few clams a la casino or something. Hmm? <laughs> I love clam bake. It's a good idea, especially if we can huddle around the piano and... Wobble out a few old ballads. Now, wait a minute, wait a What's minute, trouble? Bing. What sort of dialogue is this? Why, hello there, Fred. Uh, how'd you get out of the alley, and what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> nothing. <laughs> this girl used to stick to yeah. her script. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, uh, nothing, Connie. I haven't even got a script. Fred, what was wrong with what Connie and I were saying? That's good dialogue. Well, what, what was wrong? Harry, it's persiflage. It's well, I know, I know. It, it, it's, but it's... it's... <laughs> You get it on the fly. I mean, you have to have a net to enjoy it. <laughs> what was wrong with that dialogue, Bing? Yeah. Connie came in, made yeah. three ad libs, then yeah. said something that was written here, which was very dead. <laughs> you said it's nice to see her. She said it was nice to see you. She asked you if you were having any fun in New York. You said yes. Then you talked about going out to dinner someplace. Well, you sound like two old friends that met accidentally on the street. Well, what's wrong with sounding like two full friends? Well, it's too natural, Bing. On radio, you have got to get laughs. The yucks, oh. the yucks are important. <laughs> the, yucks, huh? the yucks, yuck, yes. Yuck. Now, Connie should have come in, if this was a regular program, yeah. Connie should have come in here and made some uh, hilarious crack about your hair or the bags under my eyes or perhaps your clothes. Don't you know people are supposed to insult each other on the air? With that outfit you have on now, Connie uh, should have said, you look like the pot at the end of Finian's rainbow. <laughs> well, Fred, why can't people act normal, just like human beings? Well, you them? cannot be a human being in radio, Bing. <laughs> Not even the executives. They, <laughs> they run through the halls on all fours. <laughs> you cannot be human. <laughs> Bing, you... Oh, you'll hear from <laughs> Trammell about this. <laughs> He has no authority over here. No, no, no. You cannot be human in radio. You have got to tell jokes. You know, yes. a joke like the man with the loose false teeth. He, uh, he walked into the Empire State Building, said hello, and four elevators went up. <laughs> Speaking of entertainment... Uh, the yeah. click was in the joke. In <laughs> Connie, what are you going to do tonight? Well, I really don't know, Bing. Uh, what do you want me to do? Oh, I don't care, Connie. Whatever you want. You want to recite a poem or tell what? us your favorite recipe or do a card trick or something? Yeah. Say, I, if I'm not intruding, Bing, yeah, well. if I'm not intruding, I have a novel idea. What's that? Now, Miss Boswell is a singer. How about having her sing a song? <laughs> Revolutionary. Yes, Revolutionary, <laughs> I know. Very clever. Let's pioneer. That's all right. <laughs> there you oh, man, this, this boy's really sharp, Bing. How come we didn't think of that? Say, well, if you'd write things down around here, you wouldn't have to think <laughs> of them at the last minute. You got a tune in mind, Constance? <laughs> well, Bing, how's about me knocking a little chibaba chibaba? Oh, I'd adore it. Fred, come over here and sit down. I'll simmer a little. We'll you know, B Bing, relax. someday you're going to go too oh, far. It's all you're right. going to we'll go get too far. Chababa, chababa, chihuahua, and jalawa, kuka, la goomba. Chababa, chababa, chihuahua, my bambino go to sleep. Bambino go to sleep. Chababa, chababa, chihuahua, and jalawa, kuka, la goomba. Chababa, chababa, chihuahua, my bambino go to sleep. All the stars are in the skies ready to say goodnight. Can't you see your doll is sleepy too? Close your drowsy little eyes, Mama will hold you tight while she sings a lullaby to you. Chababa, chababa, chihuahua, and jalawa, kuka, la goomba. Chababa, chababa, chihuahua, my bambino, go to sleep. Bambino, go to sleep. Chababa. 
Rock my baby in the treetop Now when the wind blows The cradle will rock and if the bob breaks The cradle will fall Oh, chababa, chababa, chababa rock a -bye. Oh, rock a -bye. Oh, rock, rock a -bye. Oh, chababa, 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 chababa Chihuahua, Angelawa Kugla, 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 kumba Chababa, chababa, chihuahua My bambino, you go to sleep All the stars are in the sky Ready to say goodnight Can't you see your doll is sleepy too Close your drowsy little eyes Mama will hold you tight While she sings a lullaby Rock a bye, rock a bye, baby Chababa, chababa, chawawa Angelawa Kugla, 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 goomba Chababa, chababa, chawawa Oh, my bambino, for the sea Chababa, bye Very stylish, Connie. Just as flashy as your recent record of it, I well, thought. Well, thank you, thank you, Bingston. You know, Fred, Chababa Chababa is supposed to be a lullaby. Did uh, Connie's arrangement of it jump too much for your jangle nerve? No, I always find music rather soothing, mm -hmm. Bing. You sing? Well, only in the bathtub, and then the best I can do, Bing, is the Super Suds commercial. Well, I'm Unless I get a request. I'm sorry we don't have a bathtub here tonight. Well, I'm surprised that you haven't with this setup. I, uh... <laughs> I recognize three plumbers in the brass section here. <laughs> the only other song I know, Bing, is an old English tune. Uh, I used to sing it in vaudeville with my old partner, Wilkie Bard. Fred, meet your new partner. Let's do that song. You huh? mean that you and I are going to sing a duet, you know, just the same as you do with Al Jolson? Yeah. The original Al Jolson? Yeah. <laughs> What's the title of your song, Fred? Keep on smiling. That's the way I want you to be, optimistic, Fred. You want to take the lead or the harmony? Well, 50-50. You do the throat part. I'll handle the nose part. <laughs> we make a sensational blend. Will you assist us, John Scott? Keep on smiling. Keep on smiling, do. Though you may feel blue, a smile will pull you through. Clouds may gather up in the sky. But by and by the sun will shine Yes, the sun will shine So keep on smiling Keep on smiling, do Don't let trouble trouble you Don't sit down and start to pine Although the weather's none too fine Hang it Make your own sunshine And keep on smiling, do Keep a little smile upon your funny little dial Every mile of the road you do Though you're feeling fed up, you must always keep your head up Till the dark clouds turn to blue Give, Give up your complaining or it isn't always raining And eventually the sun will shine And you'll discover that your father and your mother And your sister and your brother and your lover Will discover that the sun will shine Don't begin to grouse because you haven't got a house And everything is up another bob or two It's no use getting waxy if you cannot get a taxi You can run or try to walk a mile or two or three or four Joke a little, chap a little, smoke a little, laugh a little Every time you feel inclined to pine Grin a little, bear a little, do a little, dare a little Let the world believe you're doing fine Give a little, take a little, live a little, make a little atmosphere of shine, and keep on smiling to Lola me. <laughs> Uh, so I'm surprised we came out together. I popped it. This is work for Sigmund Spate. <laughs> I popped a gasket there somewhere. <clears throat> Very good, though, Fred. Well, thank great. you, Bing. I saw a man from the album of familiar music just beckon to me from the audience. <laughs> Do you suppose, Bing, that Jolson was listening? He was either listening or picketing. I don't know. <laughs> but singing is good for you, Fred. Singing 
and a hobby. You happen to have a hobby? Well, I wanted to take up golf, but my sponsor insisted that I use tender leaf tee balls. <laughs> Well, they were all right for putting, but I, I couldn't get much of a drive with them. <laughs> you tee them up? Well, it is, uh, I tried it. It didn't work. <laughs> with a rule. Uh, my uh, a caddy was a kettle. Oh, <laughs> my tea. Oh, a tea caddy. There's a oh, joke there someplace. Well, let's we, not bother with it. Now, if we had another hour, we could go into it thoroughly. <laughs> but I did have another hobby. Big years that? ago, years ago, up in Maine, I collected lobster claws. But the depression came, and I felt the pinch, as you do in Ouch, the... ouch. Fred, why did you collect lobster claws? Uh, just for that last line, Bing. And I'm sorry I went to the trouble now. <laughs> Let's go into it further, Fred. But right now, I'd like to present a talented young man who is playing college dates hereabouts with his band. Good. I refer to Skitch Henderson. Skitch is at the Steinway, and my guess is that his selection is going to be Mise <laughs> Flashy indeed, and be sure and let us know where you and your band are opening and when in New York. I must borrow Brother Everett's tuxedo and fall in on you some night. But... <laughs> <laughs> Bing, I didn't know his tuxedo was so heavy. I mean, just a thought. <laughs> Bing, uh, he wears the old iron uh, derby with Gutenberg, the Gutenberg, yes, the Gutenberg. Uh, Bing, am I losing my mind, or did a pigeon just fly in? Well, not being a psychiatrist, I can't answer the first part of your question, Fred, but I can say definitely that a bundle of fluttering feathers perched, perched on the microphone is a pigeon. <laughs> this pigeon just flew in with another commercial from Philadelphia. Hey, his feet look pretty sore, Bing. Yeah. He must have been grounded at Trenton and walked in. <laughs> his dogs are bad. I've never seen a look, pigeon. Look, Fred, do me a favor for me, will you? Feed him this handful of corn while I take the message off his leg. Feeding pigeons on a radio program? Get me another Alka-Seltzer, somebody. <laughs> Here you are, Glenn Riggs. What's the latest word from the Philco man? Bing, the latest word from Philco is always the last word in fine radio performance. This time, it's that great new development from the Philco Laboratories, the Dynamic Reproducer. This new tone arm brings to your home, for the first time in the history of recorded music, the same kind of fine musical reproduction hitherto available only to the best broadcasting studios. And you've never really heard your own records till you've heard them played with Philco's dynamic reproducer. You'll find this amazing tone arm exclusively on a gorgeous new Philco radio phonograph in a Chippendale period cabinet, along with Philco Advanced FM and the sensational new Philco record changer. 
So when you buy your new radio phonograph, look at the leader first. Look at a Philco, famous for quality the world over. Your hand. Here's a fine song. I want to thank you, folks. Sweeping the country right now. It's a smash in Canarsie, they tell me. Very popular in Perth Amboy. And big in Butte. Really getting around. I want to thank your folks For making you as sweet as you are How else can I express how I feel Confess and reveal my love I want to thank your folks For making you the dream that you are And tell them what a swell job they've done Of raising the one I love Do you recall the birthday party they gave you When we were just a couple of kids Well, suppose they hadn't thought of inviting me to See what I'd have missed I'm here my thanks to you for making all my love dreams come true. But darling, to be perfectly frank, I really must thank your folks. Bing. Yeah, Fred. Bing, I was looking at the hourglass over uh -huh. there. It's about half empty. Is that a sign we can go home now? Yeah, you can cut for your casa anytime you feel it. Uh -huh. I do hope you enjoyed your alpha <laughs> selfie and your visit. Did you have a good time? You know, you know a funny thing, Bing? Huh? Being on your show tonight has had a strange influence on me. Huh? I haven't been so relaxed since the night I was hit on the head with a blackjack in Chinatown. <laughs> I hope this doesn't provoke lumps, too. Well, I can't get over this easygoing type of radio. Gosh, you know when I go on information, please, I have to worry about being intelligent. No. When I appear with John's other wife, I have to worry about John coming home <laughs> during a commercial. <laughs> when, I when I appear on Benny's... When I appear on Benny's program, I have to worry about my pockets being picked. <laughs> But here, yeah, no worries, no script, just take it easy. That's the only way to beat this game, Fred. I never let anything worry me. Well, how uh, can you control yourself, Bing? Well, if I feel something is going to upset me, I, I just imagine that I'm out at the old ball game, sitting out there in the sun at a doubleheader. And yeah? Ralph Kiner, Hank Greenberg is hitting home runs. And we're uh, way in front and everything's jolly. Takes the old worries right away. Hey, you were you were pretty lucky to snag Hank Greenberg, don't you think? I think so. Is it true you had to trade Barry Fitzgerald, Leo McCary, <laughs> and throw in your Oscar to get <laughs> Hank? That's just back fence gossip. But that's my formula, though. You concentrate on baseball, nothing will ever upset nothing you. Nothing will nothing upset you. Will. Oh, I'll take the phone call, Bing. Good. I love this ad living. <laughs> I, uh... Hello? What? Billy Herman, manager of the Pirates calling long distance. See what he wants, Fred. Hello, Billy. This is Fred Allen. Oh, he did, huh? 
Greenberg, huh? Uh, what about Greenberg? Well, Herman just calling to let you know that Greenberg has a sliver a in his sliver? finger. Well, which finger? Give me that phone. Now, easy, Brent. Bing. Take it easy. Hello, Billy. Now, wait a minute. Uh, well, how did it happen? Now, relax, don't Bing. Don't just stand there and just get a doctor. Bing, don't get blow the Mayo Clinic. Bing, Bing, get Bing. Don't, 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 don't blow your top, Bing. <laughs> Bing, think, relax, Bing. Think of baseball. I am thinking about the, Now, look, Billy, you get Greenberg oh, to a doctor right away, you hear me? And phone me every ten minutes. Be careful. No, phone me every five minutes. I don't care what it's called. I'll fly right there after the guy. Get a Please. You're going crazy. Get him to a hospital. Like, give me an ounce of Crosby's a little upset. Good night, kiddies. Good night, kiddies. <laughs> This program was produced and transcribed in New York by Bill Morrow and...